Um, do you need a break? I'm really not sure. Your Honor, I think I think it may be good time a good time for a break. We can get a break. Thank you. Push your up pass, keep an open mind, no conversation. And that was a dramatic moment this morning. Leanna Taylor in the middle of her cross-examination, the prosecutor recognizing that she's about to break down on the witness stand. So they take a time out and, and give her a moment to compose herself and relax a little bit as much as you can when you're at the trial of your ex-husband who's accused of murdering your child. Let me bring in Lawrence Zimmerman. He's the attorney for Leanna Taylor. Lawrence, thanks again for uh, rejoining us. We really do appreciate it. Um, that moment, it seemed like Leanna was about to completely break down on the witness stand. Is, is that what you saw yesterday after court in the witness room? Vinny, that's what I was saying. May God have mercy on the souls of those that want to judge others' demeanor and how they react to a tragic circumstance and how they testify. This is a courtroom. These are strangers. This is on TV. People expect this to be the movies where we break down in like the movie Terms of Endearment and cry. That's not how life works. We've all watched trials. Witnesses just don't fall off the witness stand. She's emotional. That's how it is. This is not pretend. It's disgusting to hear people even criticize her when she's lost her child. You know, they're getting it wrong, what they're saying. And a lot of people who are in the courtroom, you guys aren't here, are saying that she was credible, she was moving, and the jury felt it. Lawrence, what... What is her role here? She's a defense witness, I understand, but she has does not like the defendant. She doesn't want anything to do with the defendant, and it was obvious that she doesn't like investigators and was sort of butting heads with the prosecution as well. So how do you see her role in this case, and what do you think the ultimate message was that the jury got? Number one, she doesn't like what Ross Harris cheated on her. Obviously, they lost a child. And the defense is trying to point out, while she doesn't like him, she's here because she doesn't. She still believes he was a good father, but he wasn't a good husband. And if you're asking, and I hear you talking about why she has this animus towards the investigators, let's remember, on June 18th, she just found out her child died. What did the police do? They brought her to the police department. They stuck her in a cold interrogation room while her friends from the daycare were outside wanting to be with her, to console her, and let her sit there in this room by herself where she couldn't leave. We don't treat animals like that. So if you ask why she was upset at the police, you don't do that to people. Her child died. And for them to base this on her demeanor, this is all supposition, this is all guesswork. This isn't how we do things in a court of law. That's why things get treated in court not in the court of public opinion, and Cobb County Police, when they initially released the statement that this case would shock your conscience, and there was a newspaper article in the AJC two days later that the investigation now turns towards Leanna Harris, that was all based on what the police were telling them and the leaks that were going out. That's why she did not want to have anything to do with anybody. The media was knocking on her door. People were saying terrible things about her. She just lost her child. 22-month-old beautiful child that she loved more than anything in this world. People want to be critics. People want to be mean. I hope to God those people are never in her situation. I find no pleasure in anybody else going through the pain that she's gone through. It is sad that there are people criticizing her. She's a victim. Her child is dead. Nobody's ever going to bring that back. Let's let's hope she can move on with her life. Let's hope she can have another child. Let's hope she can trust another human being. Lawrence, appreciate your time. She's got a strong advocate in her corner, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.